This weekend, China pulled off the world's first fully autonomous robot football match, and it was a disaster in the best way possible. No humans, just AI-powered humanoids falling, flailing, and somehow still scoring goals on their own. But that's just one part of the story. In this video, we're looking at the biggest breakthroughs this week. Amazon just deployed its one millionth robot and gave its entire fleet a new AI brain that rewrites how automation works. In Texas, a humanoid cowboy is walking the streets. Hey, my name is Jake, but perhaps better known as Rizbot. Talking like a hype man and going viral. DeepMind is teaching robots to think using inner speech like a voice in their head. And a new robotic hand is getting so precise it can grip, twist, and handle real-world tasks almost like a human. It's all happening fast, and it's only getting weirder. Let's go! Now let's break down who was behind this wild match. The entire thing was made possible by Booster Robotics, the company that built the humanoid players. Their latest bipedal units were front and center on the field, doing their best to stay upright, kick the ball, and play like a team. Cheng Hao, the founder and chief executive officer of Booster, explained that football is the ultimate training ground for humanoid AI, pushes robots to move fast, balance constantly, and make decisions in real time. He even hinted at a future where robots might play alongside humans, but for now, it's still more about falling over than showing off. Watching closely was Professor Subramanian Ramamurthy from the University of Edinburgh, a leading expert on robot learning. He pointed out that while the robots still fall often, they're clearly improving. Each year, their movement gets smoother and their decisions get sharper. The final game was proof of that. Tsinghua University's THU Robotics faced off against China Agricultural University's Mountain Sea Team. THU Robotics won with a 5-3 score, but both teams showed real strategy, and the crowd loved every second of it. Now, while humanoid footballers were diving on turf in Beijing, Amazon was quietly celebrating a jaw-dropping milestone of its own. The company announced that it had officially deployed its one millionth robot across its global operations, let that sink in, one million robots. The milestone unit joined a fulfillment center in Japan, bringing Amazon's robotic army to more than 300 facilities worldwide. But the milestone wasn't just about numbers. Alongside that announcement, Amazon revealed something much bigger, Deep Fleet. Deep Fleet is Amazon's new generative AI foundation model, designed to make its massive fleet of mobile robots faster, smarter, and more efficient, Think of it as a central brain that constantly optimizes every route, task, and movement across the network. It analyzes how each robot moves, learns from real-time warehouse data, and then fine-tunes everything right down to how much time a bot spends turning corners or waiting for another robot to pass. The result? A 10% improvement in fleet travel time. That's huge when you scale it to a million machines. What makes this even more impactful is that Amazon isn't building this tech for the sake of flash. The improvements directly reduce delivery times, cut down on operational costs, and shrink the company's energy footprint. And it doesn't stop there. Amazon's robots aren't just helping with speed, they're changing the way people work. Over 700,000 employees have been upskilled since 2019, trained to handle maintenance, robotics engineering, and diagnostics at newer, more advanced facilities. And let's talk about those robots. The Hercules model is a beast. It can carry up to 1,250 pounds. Pegasus bots use conveyor systems to handle individual packages. And Proteus, Amazon's first fully autonomous mobile bot, moves through shared spaces, navigating freely alongside human workers without needing protective cages or fixed routes. These aren't test models. They're active, they're everywhere, and they're already changing logistics as we know it. All of this feeds back into Deep Fleet's loop. The model was trained using Amazon SageMaker and mountains of inventory movement data, meaning it constantly learns from live performance. Every meter saved, every second shaved off travel time compounds into something massive when you apply it to a million robots. And since Deep Fleet also helps store items closer to customers, it improves stacking strategies too, which makes the same warehouse space hold more product. It's not just robots getting smarter, workers are shifting into higher skilled roles. The repetitive strain jobs are going to the bots, while humans are learning diagnostics, AI supervision, and systems operations. Amazon's Career Choice Initiative covers tuition for programs in robotics, data science, business, and more. So it's not just about machines replacing labor, it's about workers growing alongside them. And now let's go to Austin, Texas, where things get a little more stylish. 
A four-foot-tall cowboy in sneakers and a fake gold chain is running around downtown handing out compliments. Meet Jake the Rizbot, a humanoid robot powered by AI and dressed like he's heading to a hip-hop hoedown. <laughs> he's got a cowboy hat, a chest sticker that says, in training, and the voice of a hype man. Jake is actually a Unitree G1 humanoid, a compact but advanced robot priced around $16,000. It has between 23 and 43 joint motors, depending on the config, and it runs on an eight-core central processing unit, the kind you'd expect in a serious gaming rig or a video editing workstation. Add to that a depth camera and spatial sensors, and you get a robot that can not only walk and talk, but actually scan its surroundings and respond in real time. Battery life? About two hours whose personality is pre-scripted and run by an anonymous operator, but that hasn't stopped him from going viral. Videos of him calling people boss, complimenting their watches and shirts, and throwing out Generation Z slang. Gee, that white baseball cap is straight banging, <laughs> and that logo shield, you keep it so homie. My homie, that beard's cold, and that mustache is hard. You look clean, nephew. Gee, that black smartwatch have pulled tens of thousands of likes. The fact that he's so extra is exactly what makes him so watchable. It's not about perfect humanoid motion, it's about presence. Jake shows how far we've come with consumer-facing robotics. The Unitree G1 is technically a developer kit, so anyone with programming cops and access to speech synthesis tools can create their own version of Jake, complete with personality overlays and reactive behavior. The line between product and character is already blurring, but while Jake chats it up on the sidewalk, DeepMind is thinking about what's going on inside a robot's head. Their latest patent filing focuses on something called intra-agent speech to facilitate task learning. What does that mean? Basically, it's giving robots a voice inside their own head, an inner monologue. Here's how it works. Let's say a robot watches a video of someone picking up a cup. The system generates a natural language description, like the person picks up the cup, and then links that sentence to the visual action. So next time the robot sees a cup, it remembers what that means and can act accordingly, even if it's never encountered that specific cup before. That's what DeepMind means by zero-shot learning. Why does that matter? Because it means robots can generalize their understanding of the world without needing thousands of training examples for every single object or scenario. That cuts memory and compute costs dramatically while improving performance and safety in the real world. The risks? They're already being discussed. If a robot makes a mistake, say, grips a fragile object too hard, engineers and insurance companies will want access to that inner speech to see what went wrong. DeepMind's system stores these cognitive notes in a compressed language space so it's easier to audit and debug. Now let's talk hands, because all that thinking, walking, and learning won't mean much if robots can't do things. Tesolo, a robotics company based in South Korea, is unveiling its newest product next week at the AI for Good Global Summit in Geneva. It's called the Delto Gripper DG5F, and it's one of the most advanced robotic hands in the world. The DG5F is designed to match the proportions and dexterity of a human hand complete with 20 independently actuated joints. It can switch between grip styles depending on the task, Pinch grip for tiny screws, power grip for heavier tools, precision grip for delicate tasks. It even features optional high precision force sensors on the fingertips, which help it detect slip, regulate pressure, and respond to changes in the environment. What's more, the hand is modular and built from lightweight, durable materials. If a motor goes out, it can be swapped in the field without tearing apart the whole hand. And it plays nice with ROS2, the standard robotics middleware, making it easy to integrate into most existing robotic systems. Tesolo sees its hand being used in everything from precision assembly and industrial automation to telesurgery and human-robot interaction. The company's hoping that showcasing its capabilities at the Geneva Summit will open doors to partners in Europe and the Middle East. During the summit, Tesolo will also be demoing dual-arm teleoperation systems and sensor fusion tools that allow robots to feel what they touch and respond in more human-like ways. Their goal is clear. Give robots not just the ability to move, but the skill to manipulate real-world objects with human-level finesse. Booster's robots played football. Amazon's fleet got smarter. Jake the Rizbot went viral. DeepMind gave robots thoughts. Tesalo gave them hands. 
the future's not coming, it's already here. Drop your thoughts in the comments, give the video a like if you found this interesting, and make sure you're subscribed. More insane updates are coming soon. See you in the next one.